Today is kind of my first day off in a long time and I thought that it would be easy to just stop everything and go to the beach but I've just wanted to go home the whole time. <laughs> um, not like hectically, just like there's a lot going on um, with rosters and different things and notifications and emails 24 7 and I guess this is the first time that I've stepped away from it since I've deeply engaged myself with it um, and it's really good that it's happened sooner rather than later because it's really got a hold on me and I can see it very obviously and this is one of um, another one of my like more subtle addictions is like workaholism and like from all of my mental health study I've learned that it's like a trauma response but I don't think I'm responding from a from that kind of place anymore it's just more of a habit um, you know I just enjoy the high of achieving I guess or like I break everything down into these little games with myself and I like to get the highest numbers and um, it's probably the healthiest addiction that I've ever had. I don't even know if I want to call it an addiction, but it does have the same nature to it. I can't not do it. Like, it feels uncomfortable for me to be here having a beautiful day. And I know a lot of people that I've shared time with have expressed very similar things, like, throughout my life. It's, a, it's an interesting thing to balance because we're encouraged to, like chase success and money and um, get things done and achieve so like it's like when I worked in the tattoo studio and for other businesses like that and my job was to promote the business on social media so I'd be on my phone a lot and you start to justify to yourself like this is a good thing I need to do this because it's my job and it's like it's making me money and everything and then the lines blur very quickly between like what's productive and what's just busyness haha <laughs> uh -huh. that's funny that that came out that way business busyness same word but um, yeah what am I even trying to say I don't I'm not very good with my self-awareness around that just yet. Like I can't um, find a healthy balance between working really hard and lots and making time for myself. But I also understand all of the things about relaxing and um, like if I don't make time for myself then I'll burn myself out and I'll be no use to anybody because like uh, the average person would say the kind of work that we do is quite emotionally um, draining I guess is the word that they use but I don't really find it that way. I find that the more time I spend with people and you know just I find that I just learn from people and I really enjoy the experiences more than anything. And it's weird. I think it, the lens that you look through determines how stressful your job is. Like if you decide that your job is hard work and um, it's nothing but problems and you start to tell yourself this really negative story about it then you're going to constantly reinforce that story and you're not going to enjoy it but I kind of have this very positive lens and like I focus on what I'm learning and the experiences that I'm having and you know watching people watching other people learn and watching other people have experiences and sharing time with like all kinds of people is like really cool so, yeah, I'm learning a whole new boundary, I guess, like a new boundary for like 
because working with people it's, it's I guess it's got that similarity with working with social media where like you can't turn people off and on like they're always um, doing what they do whether whether they are like whatever position they are in relation to you and your job if you're working with people like people are always on so it's the same as like working with social media um, I think social media was actually probably even easier because there are the active times where the users are engaged um, whereas people are a bit more sporadic like I guess with business it's supposed to be like nine to five but it's really not especially in this technological age where we have like this computer in our pocket where everybody can access each other um, yeah this isn't the normal thing that I would journal about at all but I'm forgetting about what's normal and not normal for me to journal about as well because my story is evolving in so many different directions. I'm just going to forget about trying to do anything. I'm, I'm completely letting go of the journal or any kind of control or idea about what it's supposed to be. If you enjoyed this one, click the like button for me, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and go check out kylives.com to find out more.